Hello, welcome back to Calendra Cistern, uh, Thief 2 Fan Mission. Here in the second episode, we're just about to enter the wine cellar of Weeping Angel, where we have to meet our contact, Mercedes, before uh, she's discovered a way into uh, a secret door in the wine cellar that leads to where this uh, party is being held. We have to go somewhere there's a relic at the party we need to steal. And of course, there's going to be money at the party we need to steal. So let's go say hello. Hello, Mercedes. It's a quarter past the witching hour, Garrett. What took you? You know me. Admiring the black hovels of humanity from the rooftops. Yes, well, I've already been down to the party and it's blossomed into a dark bouquet of aristocratic shadows. But don't worry, fed on wine, they'll wilt soon enough. They didn't even notice I wasn't on the guest list. <laughs> There's a guest list? I'll have to sign that. Where's the relic and what is it? A silix. Lady Calendra has yet to pay for it and already has it locked in some shrine. So, this is your little foray. How do you want to proceed? You hit the party like a feather. No one noticed me. But I'd still be careful. <laughs> what is this? Beginner's lessons? Mm, no, just a little information on how the party's brewing. Lady Calendra apparently has her townhouse well guarded tonight. I think there's some treachery afoot. Anyway, if you can find her... Let me guess. I lift her house key. Find the house that goes to it. Find a quiet way inside of the house. Locate the key to the shrine where the silex is stored and make it back here by. Oh, say, one, will you do what? I'll be lurking after information, of course. Her town home is through the southern sewers. I scouted them out. Once you have her key, go south until you reach a full cistern. From there, use this map to find the way. The guarded front door should ironically mark your target. I'll be watching for your return. Good luck. All right. Hey, I need to get through the secret door too. So we've got some new objectives. We need to get Calendra's key, then go to her house, then get the key to the shrine. Uh, make sure we don't knock her out or kill her until then. Sign the guest book. And find a way to deposit Ragnar alive inside Lord Alhazard's mansion. Alright, uh, here is the little lever we're looking for for the secret door, so that's not a problem. I'm gonna just take out this torch right away. So I have a nice dark entrance here. A gate that is uh, remotely operated there. Before we worry about any of that stuff, I do see a uh, chest hiding up there in the dark. I'm going to try and get to it. It's locked. Can I? Oh, I'm a bit too far away to get it. Alright. No one heard that, did they? Let's try. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Did you hear something? No, no. Uh, I don't see anything now. It's just rats. Nope. There's a different mood. One that no, takes all the lights. No one's talking about it. I, I, I want this chest, right? Ropes are just too far away. Hopefully this will be close enough. Yeah. Alright, let's find out what we've got in here. Nail, brother in arms. Money. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Nothing ever happens. Let's get some more wine. That usually <laughs> solves everything. 
<laughs> Rather be sleeping though. Uh, everyone's walking around noisily. I wonder if they'll hear me now. No. Good. Oh, they've got they've got purses on their belts. Oh yeah, I want those. I do want those. What have we got here? People wandering around all over here. We've got a guard. I guess he's guarding whatever's over this way. More guards that way. Oops, somebody coming. Find a dark corner. Nope, it's going. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How bright is it here? Yeah. Too bright. Too bright. I think another torch has to go. Hey, what was that? Nothing. Nothing you need to worry about. Mm. Here's the sewers. Guard there too. They're everywhere. You interested in that other proposition? Well, that too, but I mean more like spirits. Or someone I'll take your money while you walk follow. past me. Sure. Right, how many? 11 more arrows. Do I want to get that torch as well? Too bad. It was good. I don't know. You never know. I think, I think this one is casting more light on the doorway. Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, we'll get them both. Dark. Dark for dark business. That's much better. Oh, I didn't see you there, sir. What do we got here? Walking back and forth. <coughs> He's still got mm -hmm. money on his belt. What's mm -hmm. there? What I heard is just the wind, I guess. One that takes mm -hmm. nothing I like a noise now. now. <sighs> you wow. Are boring, boring. Dark enough for me to sneak around here. Uh, is uh, oh wait, yeah, we got a new map, didn't we? Yeah, we got this new map from uh, Mercedes. Uh, so that's where we came in down the stairs. That's that gate, and there's a guard here, so that must be the shrine. Then the little well here with people around it in the sewers. Yeah, the guard is also marked. So there is a big cathedral just across the street from us. Way upstairs to the balcony. I'm gonna just try and explore a bit, hopefully without being seen, because if I get seen, I'm just gonna have to run back to the Weeping Angel Inn. So, but it's nice and dark here if I avoid that clunky grating there. Later, yes. That is all now, Dylan. Leave me. <coughs> right, well, her armed guard conveniently walked away. What about these people? 
Got it, good. Just smash them flat with those things. Right, how much do you have a good one? Where are you going, sir? Not this way. Okay. Hey, good cinder girl certainly put up a fight. <laughs> hey, you remember when the Baron boring, boring. out the wall? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> These people are saying things, but they're not exactly having conversations. What have we got here? You're not going to notice the uh, note going missing, are you? It's a program. Welcome to the 13th Autumn Gathering of the Lalock Society. We greet Ragnar, our newest member of the Order, with high hopes that his position will help maintain the secrecy and sanctity of these meetings, perhaps even broadening the supply ring, read Crags of Prison, for our quarterly sacrifices. Our sacrifice will be at precisely midnight on the Cathedral Altar. Our offering, a cinder girl from the Lower River District near Lampfire Hills. After the sacrifice, we will have a short agenda for planning the winter advancement of our agents into key political offices. Following this, as usual, feel free to mingle and sample of various wines. Of special note, the fabled Silex of Jortul is now safely enshrined in the Lower Vault thanks to Count Drakengald's timely delivery of the relic from the Southern Swamps into our waiting crèche. He will most certainly gain his just reward. Again, welcome and see me for anything you need, Lady C. All right, so in this pagan cathedral, they're doing uh, human sacrifices. Oh, there's a key. That's the key we need, I think, for her house. So that must be Lady Glendra. I'm gonna... Don't look. These glasses are just disappearing from in front of your face. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing out of the ordinary at all. Okay. I'm gonna try going upstairs. Hmm. I've got a key. Go to the house, get a shrine key. Keep it around at least until then. Let's see what we've got up here. It's nice and dark. That cinder girl <laughs> certainly put up a fight, didn't she? <laughs> hey, you remember when the Baron's police took down the wall? <laughs> All right. Well, we've got a couple of people hiding up here. <coughs> We're doing water arrows. We've got nine. I think I can waste one more. Hey, what's that sound? It's just a splash. You have loot. No, that's just your arm. Okay. Does she have loot? Oh, he does have loot. Okay. She does not have loot. Hammer, <coughs> Just smash up flat with those things. Oh, everybody downstairs is really Too noisy from here. Too bad. Good. Well, there's the uh, remains of the That's human sacrifice. Mm -hmm. There's somebody patrolling in here as well. What do we got out here? It's a graveyard and there's somebody down there. Let's go down and say hello. They don't look very lively. Are they drunk? Or are they... Some villa mouth. Count Drakengeld. Can't really tell if they're drunk or dead. Well, no great loss. Me if they're dead, but uh, as long as I'm not responsible for it, I, yeah, it's not a problem. Oh, that's a secret passage. Where does that go? Yeah, come on, get up there. Come up to the ladder, Garrett. Down the ladder, don't drop down and so. It's uh, a little sewer tunnel. With a uh, frog beast. How oh, nice, how friendly. Just what I need. <laughs> frog beast. 
For a beast, prepare to meet an arrow. Kaboom. Oh, he's not going to explode onto me. What have we got down here? Well, that's another gate. I can see a lever on that side, but I don't think there's one on this side. Alright, there must be a way from the other side to get back here. So, I guess we'll discover that later. I mean, I have actually been here before with the last time I played this mission. Still in, still in the area I had been to, so I do know actually where that goes. But I'm not going to give any spoilers. Also, last time I was uh, trying to knock everybody out in the party, and I was getting chased a lot and dying a lot, and uh, so far I'm doing a lot better this time, just sneaking around unobserved. Let's hope it stays that way. I wonder if there's anything else in this underwater in here. I'll have a look later. Might be a water arrow or two to pick up. Yeah. Alright, back to the graveyard. Oh! Nice. I'm gonna miss that. And, uh. Oh! Another secret passage down into the sewers. How many secret entrances do these do these sewers need? Why is it always sewers that have secret passages? So everybody is just desperate to wade through muck and whatever else ends up down here. Gore too, no doubt, with the uh, with the kind of sacrifices these people are doing. It looks like. Cathedral, but I'm stuck on this ladder and I can't walk off it, which means I'm gonna have to jump, which means I'm gonna be noisy. Yeah, well, no, I'm such a hairy. Okay. Uh, Brother Adrius's head. There's another ladder here, wasn't there? Yeah, I can go back out to the graveyard. Let's drop disembodied heads in the graveyard. Seems a sensible place for them. Ouch. 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 Come closer, closer. I'll bite your ankle. Yes. So you can talk. Anything else to say? Ouch. Bloody party. And it can be. <laughs> well. Brother Idris. Creepy laugh. I oh, don't fall down the hole. Maybe better close up the hole so he doesn't fall down it. Well, why don't you haunt this graveyard? Why are you following me? Why don't you haunt this graveyard with your creepy laughter? Because <clears throat> I need to go to Calendra's house. How many were... Uh, I'll leave that one there. Right. Stole there, my knees. I'll go up there later, I think. I think I need to visit Calendra's house, perhaps. Although... Boring, boring, boring. Got it. 
Let's see. Uh, actually, I will go up there just now because one of the things I discovered last mission. No, tell me you're heading. Nothing. One of the things I discovered last mission, after uh, looking at what I was missing, is that there was another entire room in this place. Accessible by the ceiling or something somewhere? You. It's one way down. And this is a very tile floor room, very noisy. Don't like. Guard. It's too much light. Uh, I wonder if the center of this place is where I was missing last time. Uh, just is there? I can't really tell. Is there a passage there, or is it just? Let me see. Let me let me do some daring acrobatics and just see if this is what I was missing. <laughs> well, there's uh, beams to walk on. Oh, another one of those faces. Aha! Aha! -ha, there is indeed a place up here. I missed. Oh God, no! No, I hear spider noises. I don't like, I don't like the spiders. I'm just gonna do a save in case I die to spiders, or more likely to frantically running away from the spiders. Uh, it's more my style. Die, jump down, fall back down this hole. To be on this level. It must be. Oh, it must be up there somewhere. Yeah, I don't like spiders. It's too bright. Oh, it's a baby one. Oops, missed. Another one. Any more? Baby ones aren't too bad, but I still don't like them. Giant ones are the real problem. That's locked. Oh, that's just going back there. Uh, there was a window around that side. What have we got on this side? Yeah, no more spiders, so they would have heard me. Oh, there's a window on this side, too. Can I climb in? <laughs> I can. Society count 12 o'clock midnight of the Rabbit War. The conjunction of three grows nearer. The major is in the ascendant, and the miners are lagging behind as expected. Only a few more days. Society count. Four o'clock, dead man's hour. My efforts are for naught. The conundrum of the summoner's stone remains. The only use ever witnessed is its propensity for unraveling binding spells. And only then does it work if held before you. I believe it more a nuisance than useful. Summoner's stone, huh? Is that, is that valuable? Oh, there's a telescope. To observe. An approaching conjunction. Oh, there's a switch on the side. I wonder what that does. Oh, we got lights. We got door switch. I don't like lights. I'm fine without lights. Let's pick this lock.
Some of the stone. Okay, it's not loot. So perhaps it'll be of some use elsewhere. What's all this? Oh, a health potion. Nice. Nothing else I can pick up. Uh, weird stuff. I wonder what this switch does. Uh, I guess I'm going to try it, but I'll save in case it's terrible and kills me. Maybe it does nothing. Except echoes. Alright. Ooh, we have some ducts. Well, the ducts on that side too, I just not see them. Well, it does look like there might be. Can't tell how far it goes, it might just be a dead end there. Let's just explore this way. I've never been here before, I completely failed to find this room last time, so. Don't know where this takes me. Except somewhere noisy. Go on, get, get up there. That's a really awkward step. A really noisy floor. I creep slowly across. And a little stone. Room? Ah, uh -huh. okay, there's a exit here. Where does this take us? <laughs> oh. Back to the same room again. Okay. Um, in fact, just around the corner. What, what good is that? Wasn't any loot in here or anything I missed? <laughs> uh, I suppose if we couldn't, didn't want to try mantling up to that window, we could just come around here. Here or something. I'm being very noisy. Odd. Very odd. Could come around this side. Oops. Is there anything in there? No, that one is just a dead end. How strange. How strange. Right? Well, we found the observatory, which I completely missed before. There's that little room for spiders to hide in. It does look like it. None of these boxes are movable. Uh, we got the summoner stone. I think I am done here. I Hmm, don't know if I can safely recover my rope here. Can I safely recover my rope here? Let's try. Well, oh, somebody heard me, but uh, I'm not too bothered about that. He can't see me up here. And hopefully I can get across here without dying. Two problems. First is, I saved on a rope, which one should never do. Uh, Alright, I saved before this jump. Maybe I can just make the jump. Not like that. Maybe I can make the jump, but jump before I hit the edge. Yeah, the roof was a little low, that's hitting the roof. But we made it. Okay. I need to find where our way back out of here was. That guard heard a noise and was looking around, but I don't think he'll spot us up here. They don't tend to look up very much. Is that where we came from? Yeah. This is the, this is the attic. Okay. Great. Um... Ouch. Alright. Remember when the Baron Try not to hurt yourself. So, where am I going now? I think it's time to go find. Go through the sewers, go find Calendra's house. We'll come back to this party and deal with all these people later. Right now. 
probably better off locating the key to the shrine. No one there to see me is there? Quickly run through the bright bit. Right, so, yeah, it's still pretty bright over here, isn't it? That's not too bad. Ah, oh, these people are always talking, talking, talking. Parties. Hello there, sir. You couldn't lure me down there for any price. Oh, that's. Yeah, but are you interested in that other proposition? Everything. Oh, Hello? noisy, noisy, noisy. <laughs> Hello. You're right. Nobody uh, actually knows me. So we, this map says main pipe room possible escape route. So the next page of the map, that's here, and we have a south entrance that goes to Fegrim's Court, but it's apparently locked. We have a north entrance that connects to Lady C's house, so I guess that's where we're going. Um, there's a guard just around the corner here. So I'm going to see if I can uh, knock him on the head without him noticing me. Well. All over! Eat that! Come fight me, you coward! You're dead, pal! Bye-bye. Ah, that was not very successful. What am I going to do about him? Can I lose him? Can I lose him in the bitch black here? <laughs> Ouch. That hurt. <laughs> Good thing I have a healing potion. Well, he's hunting for me over there. So he has lost me in the darkness. No one else seems to have heard his yells and got alerted. Spirits, or someone hiding, oh. following you. Or well, maybe not. What I heard, there's a different moon, one that takes all the light. A different moon that takes all the light. That'll be nice. All right, what's his? Ow, ow! Come here. Ouch! No, no, not like that. <sighs> right, so I guess we start again. Well, I could distract him. Who's there? In the shadow! Go see what that noise was. Don't make me come to- There you are. I won't make you come find me. Don't worry. You just stay here, out of sight. Uh, actually, I don't think I want to go in this water. And it's nice and dark and deep, but is there anything in here? Also, I just realized Garrett's swimming in the sewers. Nice. Nothing, nothing at all. It's a pipe. On the side. <laughs> Here we go. So, south was to Fegram's Court. North, oh, that's quite high. North is to Lady Calendra's. Let's see if we can use a rope to get over there. I'm going to have to leave the rope there for now. Should be fine, I've got two left. Two is pretty good. Where are we? It's very dark. Dead end. Uh, oh. I don't think I can get back up there. Can I get my rope back? If I could get my rope back, I would be happy now. Yeah, I can get it back, no problem. I'm gonna drop down a kind of one-way passage. 
I mean, everything here is metal and there's suddenly there's a stone wall and I immediately think it's just a secret passage, but uh, the mushroom, there's no sign of a switch. So I'll assume not. Down we go! Alright, do I have a ladder? Let's climb up. Where does this take me? Hmm. To a couple of dead end oh, moss arrow. Dead end pipes, but there is a moss arrow. Ah, I can see I can jump across to that. <laughs> Noisy. No one seems to be around to here. I think that's where I tried to get to. <laughs> Go. Back up the street level. It's all very quiet. Where are we? North. Uh, we just came out here, so... Wait, is that back to front? Normally that would be north, but that looks like... That's north, because that's just here. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the Weeping Angel Courtyard, yeah. So I get a nice, uh, misleading map. It's upside down. No problem. Is that wood? It looks maybe like wood. Yep, that's wood. Let's throw a rope. Up there. Passageway there. I wonder where that takes me. <laughs> oh, it's a break of a window. Anyone about? Look the other way, block your ears. Well, he's still whistling, he didn't hear anything. Must be whistling very loudly. Oh, get in there. What's this say? I love explosions! Constipation plus bomb equals a crap to end all suffering. This new package is just what the Duke needs. Loosen up his bowels real good once he sits on this incendiary wafer. Can't believe the court doctor wanted me to find a solution. I mean, I'm no doctor. Still, this is big. Very big. I'm stepping up into the ranks of the nobles. Hmm, strange noise. Sounds like Peter's been fiddling with the mind triggers again. He'll be the ruin of my business if he blows up the shop. Uh, there's a bunch of furniture broken around. It does kind of look like this shop has been blown up already. What have we got here? Explosive charge. Is that a mine? That is a mine. On the table there in front of me. Just light on. That is indeed a mine. Uh, I'm not sure how I didn't manage to set it off a bit before, but I think I shall stay well away from it. It does look like his friend Peter did managed to blow him up. Now, I don't know if it's just a Thief 2 thing, or whether it's there in Thief Gold or whatever, but um, I do remember at some point someone saying you could disarm mines with a lockpick. Which is not something I've ever managed to do. Doesn't seem to be happening here. Can't pick it up. I'm just gonna... Assume it's either a myth or so hard to do that it's not worth the effort unless you're really desperate to get a mine back. But, uh, it's very easy to set up mines yourself. Uh, I've done it many times, just I guess. Um, yeah, that's what you want to avoid. That's what I have yeah, always managed to do every time I've tried to do the lockpick to disable mine thing. Quiet landing. I've got around here. So this must be where Lady Glitter's house is. The guard. And an attic. Did he hear me? Nope. Good. I 
I did, he did get a little suspicious, but he's, he's alright. He didn't really notice anything important. Flash bomb! Nice. That means I've got two. Let's leave that open so I remember. I've uh, used it. There's a guard walking around. On noisy floors. Don't like noisy floors. <coughs> Yourself. Why is the front door with another guard? He's having a good time. <coughs> he comes back. Where does he patrol to? If he goes out that door, I should be a little more free to move around. Actually, I just realised I've got the hook key, I haven't even used it yet. I guess that's the front door. Nope. Yeah, let's put out this fire. That was still too bright. Yeah. Can I put that out? Nope. Fire. That's right. Oh, it's dark in, in the fireplace at least, and I'm stuck. Classic carrot fashion. I'm able to get uh, underneath something which was low enough to get into, but now I can't even crouch. Oh dear. Um, yeah, this is dark engine physics. I think we're going to have to reload. I'm totally stuck. Okay, I'm not actually walking, I'm kind of floating, I'm kind of stuck in the geometry, so I can't crouch. Unless I can, I can't even lean. No. Reload. Alright, that was bad. <laughs> How bright is that room? He's dark enough in that room for me to ambush him. <coughs> That's in the dark corner. And a bunch of different sized candlesticks. Nice. I wonder where that, how far that guard goes. What's so down this way? Noisy floors. And a button. I wonder what the button is for. Hmm. Does this call a guard? Does it set off an alarm? Who knows? It is shaped like Lord Baffert's buttons, actually. Let's push it. Let's find out. Nothing. Okay. Macbeth, scene three, a park near the palace. Then stand with us, the west yet glimmers with some streaks of day. Now spurs the later traveller apace to gain the timely inn, and near approaches the subject of our watch. What have we got here? Still on edge in case uh, guard comes. Receipt for one lethal vial paid 500 coins. Does it look dark here, but isn't dark here? Oh, it is dark just here. Well, I don't know what that button did. Um, maybe nothing? Oh, I heard the guard. Is he coming this way or is he going back to the other room? I 
Oh, he's coming this way. No. Nope. Yes. <coughs> well, sir, I shall take your key. Front door key. Nice. I shall leave you in this corner. Okay. One guard resolved. That painting looks suspicious, so I was just looking for a switch before that guard came along. Is there a secret switch hidden in a bookshelf or under the desk? Aha! Uh -huh. Indeed. We have a vial of poison. That's not going to do us much good. We can't really uh, kill anyone, can we? Not on this difficulty level. Alright, let's creep back carefully to the front door and just deal with the other guard so I feel a bit more safe running around inside the house. Should do it. Where's our key? You being negligent, negligent again. What? What? There's an alarm on the front door. Okay. The guards. He got alerted, but he's not coming in. What's he doing? Let's Standing there. Is he dancing? So he's just wobbling. So zoom in and have a look. Ah, oh, it's just a light. There's a flashing light on him. He's just quite happy. He's not even noticed. What? What a uh, very good, very very bad at his job. Well. That's noisier than my liking, but uh, there's a pressure switch there. Yeah, there's a pressure switch, isn't it? Yeah, so there's a went down. Well, Lady Clinch was not going to be happy with her guards. Can I? See if I, can read, if I can turn the alarm off. Is that maybe what this switch was about? Let's go there. Nope. Oh well. That's noisy. I don't like it. It's too noisy for my liking. I think. Will it? I think we have no more gas to deal with. Fire arrow. I just have to put up with the noise. Anything behind here? Try that, doesn't do anything. Uh, there's probably something behind the banners, but uh, once again, I don't have the ability to cut down banners just now. To do list 1. Hold best wine from cellar to cistern. 2. Ensure the syndic is washed, anointed, and in good health for the ceremony. 3. Have my two watch captains on duty in case the camp tries anything. It would take a keg of firepower and 12 men to get by Lestrand and Gilgalen. Post Lestrand at the front door and Gilgalen outside my bedroom. Uh, bad news, Lestrand is uh, so stupid the alarm went off and he just stood there doing nothing and uh, Gilgalen walked into the room and encountered my blackjack. So, keg of firepower and 12 men not really needed. 4. Leave instruction for Bartholomew to post a brute outside the Weeping Angel. 5. Plant evidence to fa frame Count Drakenkeld for the vanished dues. 6. Ensure the shrine is locked and guarded. 7. Make certain brimstone will attend the gathering and ally in case the count draws steel. 8. Poison for the drinks. 9. Pen a decree of judgment for show to the rest of the guests. Right, so she's framing Count Drakengeld and gonna poison his drink, I guess. That, we found him in the uh, 
graveyard. Apparently unconscious or dead, and I'm guessing it was dead. Uh, the painting doesn't appear to be lootable. That door doesn't open. Another switch doesn't appear to do anything. Alright. Um, quiet! Let's check out this other room. Is this painting valuable? Yes! I'll take that. These plates are not valuable. Dry frog. I'll take that. Is there another fire arrow? Nope. Although, it looks like there might be a passage in that chimney. How many water arrows do I got? Eight. Can I spare one for the sake of experiment? I'll, I'll think about it. Some books we have. Note to self, I noticed an odd section of wall whilst poking around in the chambers below the graveyard. It seems to be a slightly different section of masonry and could possibly conceal something. Those keepers hid all kinds of things. I will have Dylan fetch some explosives. Uh, chambers below the graveyard. We've been in the sewers there. I didn't notice an odd section of wall, but uh, I'll have a look next time I'm down there. Society Count, Hogs Watch. Sidney Fletcher is no longer with us. The last of his body and its ties to the mortal realm faded quite suddenly this evening in the midst of the far casting. It was most annoying. The bindings were destroyed and the evening wasted. The manner of his demise is curious. He appeared to be in good condition earlier in the day, at least as much as someone in his position can be. He even appeared to be happy for a change, although he did appear a trifle surprised at the end. He should have lasted much longer. Society count, one o'clock, crow's flight. I think I've found the cause of Fletcher's unexpected passing. It seems he may have been trying to bring his body back into this plane. Evidence of several summoning spells were discovered in the place where he was kept. The fool should have known he wouldn't have sufficient energy for such a spell. No wonder he appeared surprised. No matter, I do believe I've found a replacement. That snippety brother Adrius, the Hammerite priest, will do quite nicely, I think. Society count two moons. Brother Adrius participated, albeit somewhat unwillingly, in this evening's festivities. Everything went smoothly. This time, I will make certain that his body is well protected and not within his reach. Society count gathering of mists. We have divided and secured Brother Adrius's body. For some unknown reason, during the separation ritual, part of his body destabilized and left our realm. A binding was quickly cast on the remaining pieces to prevent any more untimely departures. What remains is more than enough to time to this plane for quite a long while. As a precaution, I have secreted his remaining parts about the city cloaking them from discovery. Even if he does somehow find them, he will never be able to access them without the Summoner's Stone, and that is safely locked away in the observatory. Well, not anymore. I have that in my pocket. I guess I will need that to find his body parts. Somewhere in the city. Society Count Red Moon. Tonight we again search for signs of the fabled Silex of Jotal. All right, what's the next, uh, next one? Society Count Two O'Clock, Mists Rising. Brother Adrius seems to have a knack for far sight. He's even more effective than Fletcher was. Unfortunately, he doesn't appear to be mentally stable. Perhaps it's a side effect of his separation. I believe some herbs are in order. Society Count Ashes Drifting. Brother Adrius, with great prodding, has at last seen the object of our desire with sufficient clarity to reveal its location. Count Drakengald and Sir Villemouth have been dispatched to fetch the Silex from its resting place in the swamps of the other south. This night's work has been well wrought. The conjunction of three awaits. Society count eight o'clock, fifth of rats. Brother Adrius's tenuous grasp of reality is slipping once more. Not even the dried frog has much lasting effect. The conjunction approaches rapidly and I begin to fear that the ritual may again be in jeopardy. Society count five frogs. The count reports success. His return is imminent. Society count reign of frogs. Brother Adrius is practically impossible and his increasingly nonsensical babble is becoming quite annoying. Crawling death indeed, it seems we must consider potential replacements yet again. Fortunately, several come to mind. Society count six o'clock, even's blood. The preparations for the society meeting consume my time. Little has changed with Brother Adrius. Uh, well, that's all those books. Let's take a look. Is this where Lady Calendra's key is needed for her bedroom? Indeed. Oh, another valuable painting. Some more loot. Another key. I've got that already. Dante, Canto 25. 
This said, the thief lifted his hands on high, making the figs with both his thumbs and shrieking, The Fico for the God, take that, say I. Through all hell's sable Gaia's funereal, I saw no spirit so proud against the builder. No, not that king who fell from the Theban wall. He with his brethren goes not on some road, for when his knavish hand drew to his den his neighbor's kind, he'd wrought a theft by fraud. Well, she likes her classical reading, Hamlet, and now Dante. Diary. Society camped at 11 o'clock, night of the moons. Soon camp Drakengal will be delivering the Silex of Jortal. I can hardly wait. My dreams are awash with crimson as I envision the crimes he must have committed to wrest the unholy relic from those primitive swamp dwellers in the other south. My embezzlement of society dues disallows the Count's payment, but I have a plan to take care of everything before the society discovers my treachery. Society Count, 5 o'clock, morning of the Stone Siren. I have found a cinder girl in the river district. She is perhaps 13. She goes to wash rags every evening and will be easily abducted and quickly forgotten by her lord. She accepted a coin from me and thanked me for my charity. Unfortunately, Bartholomew has been on edge lately, and I do not want to disturb his nerves with the prisoner in the wine cellar. So I will have to arrange for the girl to be snatched the evening before the gathering. Society Count, 10 o'clock, Night of Blood and Tears. Bartholomew came to me tonight and thanked me for the kindness I have shown him over the years. Strange. Since I found him in the streets, he has always been grateful for his position as a tavern keeper, etc. But he has never refused enough to share my bed before now. One does not find so gorgeous a servant lying in the gutter every day. I wonder if he is planning something. It would be so awful to have to line his cloak with lead for the river. Society Count, 7 o'clock evening of jewels. The horn of the trickster is in my heart and his hoof is in my brow. I bettered the new servant not ten minutes ago and found by subtle talk that Bartholomew is terrified of the Lalock Society and has begun going to late services at the Hammerite Cathedral near the Weeping Angel. I may have to finish this before he flees my service or tells the Hammers of our meetings. Society Count 11 o'clock, Knight of Jewels. I summoned Bartholomew and he seemed quite at ease and looking very washed and well. His dark hair and skin had no apprehensions tonight of sharing my company. Perhaps all is right. I will watch him closely and increase his wage. After tonight he has earned a raise. Society Count, 4 o'clock, afternoon of the White Scroll. Finally it has arrived. The Silex came in a coffin per my request and entered the city under the body of some poor wretch dressed up to be my distant nephew. The Hammers, of course, would have conf confiscated such an obviously pagan relic upon its entry to the city. I will have to move it to the empty shrine below the cistern. The Count will likely come calling before our autumn gathering. My body should quiet him for a, for a time, and before the moon is my new plan to repay him. And before the moon is new, my plan to repay him will be in order. Already the poison has arrived from alchemists who practice their art in secret and gather reagents from that terrible walled off section of town where the dead walk abroad. Society Count, 12 o'clock, midnight of the rabbit boar. No word from the Count. He says he will come early to the gathering for his payment. Ha! Society Count, 8 o'clock, evening of the tempest. I have sent Gilgal in to abduct the cinder girl. Tomorrow evening the gathering, the silex calls to me as though too long unfilled by human blood. I shall drink the Count's enven envenomed tissues soon enough. A red toast in its jeweled bowl. Society Count, 7 o'clock, evening of the autumn gathering. I must leave for the cistern and make sure all things are ready. Bartholomew has again acted strangely, and I fear I will have to offer him to the river tomorrow night. Brimstone is coming to the gathering, however, and will greatly ease my loss of so handsome a servant. By eleven o'clock the guests will be at the Weeping Angel, and at midnight is the sacrifice. I am away to the murder of an old friend. Well, Lady Calendra is a nice piece of work. Shrine key, that is what we came here for. That's a pot of plant, I don't need that. Anything on the wardrobes? Nope. Alright, so. Uh, oh, we've got our loot goal already. Uh, get Calendra's key, go to her house and get her shrine key. Keep her around at least until then. We need to find this Ragnar dude as well. Somewhere in the party and leave him in the art collector's mansion. Oh, and I forgot to sign the guest book. So, we're making progress. Um, oh, another healing potion. Nice. Um, I wonder if there's stuff hidden behind those uh, banners, but again, can't really tell. Has the alarm stopped? No. So, I've got some pads. 
Is there anything there? I, I'm, I'm going to see. I'm going to waste a water arrow. Yeah. That was definitely a waste of a water arrow. There is nothing here. It's just, there was a little, you know, there was a bit that's cut out, but uh, apparently not a secret passage. I don't tell me I'm stuck again. Oh, bollocks. Making these crawl ways. There we go, just too small. Um, yeah, a garret is usually a certain height, but sometimes he won't crouch. So he's a little higher than that. What have we got here? Locks, locks trap door. Crypt, but no sign of anyone. And there's definitely loot. Um, that skull is jumping around. appear to have summoned a zombie but at the same time turned out all the lights so oh hello jumpy skull I believe being nice and dark the zombie will not bother me for very much he's just wandering around there what have we got anything else any other loot nope uh, we have a passage where does this go This is a well out on the street. Um, that we passed by earlier. I didn't really remark on it though. Let's go down the ladder. Let's see where this takes us. To another ladder. To a metal pipe. This is so clunky. Where is this? Okay, it's all dark. There's a ladder there I can barely see. But I will try and grab it. Okay. I do see another ladder over that side. I guess we can always jump in the water. Let's jump in the water. Oh, water arrow. Yes, jumping in the water is a good idea. Alright. Where does this take us? More spiders! Spider, not the beam. No, shoot the spider, not the floor. Horrible thing. Yeah, I'm really messing this up. It's what, five hours wasted? Six? Yeah, it's no good at all. Go for the big guns. 
I didn't even kill it. Uh, okay. Ah! No! 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 With a bit more luck this time. Um, normally I wouldn't reload for fail, but if it interrupts a cutscene, it seems only reasonable. I wonder, does it know I'm here? Or is it just hunting for something? Gonna calm down and sit still for a bit. I'll give it a minute. I'll give it a minute. He says as he patiently draws his bow. Well, that's one hit. Come back. Back down this way, please. Okay, so far so good. Definitely got a little more aiming room here. I do need to wait till it comes into view. Three. Four. Uh, it does not know I'm here. I'm gonna come back. Missed. Come back. That's right. Not like that. This way. Yes, it did. All right. Wasted a couple of hours there, but not too bad. And I don't have the damn thing chasing me and webbing me up. So these can throw webs and spit electricity, which is. Nasty. Is there anything in this crack? No, it's just a crack floor. Alright, Gris Spider. Goodbye. What was this cutscene I nearly missed? Ah, here she comes. Garrett, I think we may be in trouble. The Count and his knight are dead in the Marlock Society's private boneyard. What a surprise. You knew? Bad karma is nothing new to me. How did you get down here? I needed to warn you. There was a mage invited to the party. Goes by the name of Brimstone. He was supposed to be an ace of Lady Calendra's sleeve in case something went wrong with the Count. Turns out, Brimstone had an agenda of his own. He and our illustrious hostess had a harsh quarrel I couldn't make out, and both headed for the Silix Shrine. A feeling the two mages are about to end some latent rivalry that would have turned bloody long ago, were it not for sharing Lady Calendra's famously non-partisan bed. Why do I get the feeling I'm headed to the shrine, and you're not? I didn't want to tell you at first. I had a tale on the way to the party. You damn well better be kidding. Sorry. I couldn't be sure. He was clever. I thought I shook him, but he's from the Downwind Thieves Guild. A nasty fellow they call Tommy Rot. I think he might have had a tip on my plans. Charming. So he's on the streets right now waiting for us to finish the job inside. And then he's gonna hit us from some alley when we leave? <sighs> Most likely. It's my fault. Just don't kill me for it. I'll go secure an escape route. Once you have the Silix, Meet me on the streets outside Fegrim's courtyard. My new place is just north of there. The best route is to head south again through the sewers, and instead of going east towards Lady Calandra's house, head west. I'm afraid you'll have to get wet, but with luck, 
Tommy Rod won't be expecting the courtyard as a possible exit from Calandra's cistern. So, we're headed to your place then? I thought this was strictly business. With a twist of vermouth and a pleasure chaser? An attractive cocktail. I'll see you near Fegram's courtyard. Alright, so once again, she's just there giving exposition and I'm doing all the work. You drop these rocks here. Yeah, well. I was able to get escape the spider behind them, but um, I would have missed that cutscene. So, uh, objectives have changed. We have to go to Mercedes' new apartment after we have the Silex of Jothel and have completed your other objectives. Don't kill anyone except perhaps Tommy Rutt. So, we're going to meet Tommy Rutt somewhere on the streets, I guess, and have to deal with him. Well, what have we got here? Collapsed floor. I wonder if anybody dropped anything valuable in the coin or two, maybe. Must be the odd patch of wall that she mentioned in her notes that was in the sewers down below. I wonder if there's a switch. Switch. Oh, what's that? There's a there isn't loot. A ring. Well, it's not a switch, but uh, it might be valuable. God, there's no easy floor. Can't believe this is supposed to be a keeper place because uh, how would they expect to get in and out unnoticed with a floor like this? Maybe that's the one thing Garrett didn't uh, pick up from them with his keeper training. They presumably used nice, soft leather sole boots while he goes tap dancing with his uh, metal soles. Alright, uh, I'm going to try explosives because that's what was mentioned. I think. Do I have. How many fire arrows? I've got three fire arrows. That's cool. Where's my explosives? There we are. We should be able to blow a hole in almost anything with that. It's, uh, Hefty explosive charge. There we go. And there's a fountain. A healing fountain. Okay, that's nice. Not sure that's worth spending uh, the most powerful explosive known to the world of thief on, but uh, I will. I'll take some health. I'm, that's all right. Oh, this is the passage we were at before, yeah. Okay. This goes up to where the frog beast used to be. And... The way back to the sewers underneath the pagan cathedral. Underneath the graveyard. Get out, get out. All right, back to the graveyard. So, here we are. We now have the key. Oh, hello. It's just you. Okay. I wonder if you actually can bite my ankles. Okay. Crawl dead. Bloody party. Well, he's not uh, very talkative. 
However, the uh, diary. Oh, you see me now. Hello. No. It's a bottle. I don't need dry frog. Dried frog, yes, that's what the diary said. You needed. I think I've got some here. Would you like some dried frog? Have you any dried? That's better. You're not a party guest, are you? So, out looking for some goods, are we? You know, I could probably help you some, but I think you must help me a bit more first. I suppose you noticed I'm feeling a bit disconnected. Anyway, I would really love to be reunited with my limbs. Help me and I'll help you. Take the remains of my body to the observatory and place them in the circle of red stone. And we'll see what I can do. Seek them now. Bring with you the summoner stone. Listen for the sound of my voice echoing from the past. Go. Five endure. Water drenches my sides. Rats nibble at my toes. Fire licks my fingers. And wind whistles on my chest. Seek them now. Bring with you the summoner stone. Listen for the sound of my voice echoing from the past. Go. Okay, well I can actually pick up his head as an inventory item now. Uh, is there any objective there? Yes, find brother Adrius' scattered body parts and help him out. Uh, he said bring the summoner stone. And uh, something about uh, fire and water and wind and stuff uh, affecting his body parts. So, his body parts are scattered around and I guess I need to use the summoner stone here somewhere to find them. I can just hold it, I can't really do anything else with it. He said listen for the sound of his voice, so presumably if we're holding this when we get near his body parts we'll hear him talking somehow. Okay. I will try that soon, um, but before I do that, I am going to cut the episode here and uh, make a quick cup of tea. So I will see you here in just a few minutes.